Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Hero Bishop, up in here in the Taz Shack, about to do a review of Snicked, however you want to say it, by the legend Nihai, he wrote Blam, uh, Knights of Sidonia, uh, you know, other pimp shit like that. But he did a Wolverine story, man. Wish it would have been a whole longer thing, but it's just a five-issue miniseries. Uh, will not be showing pages out of the book, and going through it that spoilery because I read it digitally, which I'm probably gonna continue to do from now on. Sorry, that's blasphemous, but hey, man, uh, it's just easier for me right now, dude. You know what I'm saying? So, more money for statues, but I'm still reading the stories. Stay tuned. These action figures on my shelf, man, they drive the ladies crazy. Look, oh, I'm watching comic book movies, so they wanna have my baby. Look, oh, look, oh. So the best way to sum this book up is it's blam, in color, read this way instead of this way. And what I mean by that is the artwork, uh, a lot of the people in it look like Blam characters or Biomega characters. Uh, Nehi has a very distinct style of art, it's badass. Uh, Wolverine looks like Keeley if he had fucking Wolverine hair and claws. And uh, the world building is like huge and vast that's one thing that always holds true in his work he was an architecture student or like a construction worker or some shit like that anyway he knows how to draw buildings in vast huge environments so that's a vibe in this uh the monsters that wolverine fights uh look like fucking you know out of blam and I, I've talk, I talk about Blam a lot, dude. Blam is a manga that is definitely worth reading. Uh, so check that out. And so basically, Wolverine's walking alone in New York. This chick comes from the future, grabs his hand, morphs his ass into the future, and they want him to kill these mutation that was supposed to like clean up the earth, but then mutated into these... Uh, things that just kill people, these blam type of robo monster looking things. And uh, that was probably a shitty ex explanation because they're more like techno organic, but uh, they're definitely on par with uh, blam or biomega characters. And uh, they got these orb core things in them that you gotta pierce. They keep taking over the earth. They keep killing people, nothing can hurt them. Except one thing, adamantium. What's Wolverine got? Adamantium claws. So they're like, yo, Wolverine, we need you to help us in the, uh, like, mother of them all who, like, makes them all. Slash up her orb core in this shit for us. He's like, what, man? You know Wolverine. At car, but he's a kind-hearted guy. And he's like, oh, man, fuck all that. But then he's like, all right, I got you. So they get their best OGs together, like the head dude that has this suit, this adamantium suit that can like protect them from these things and these guns with these bullets that can kill them. Him, Wolverine, these other guys go out. Of course, every motherfucker dies in it, except Wolverine. And uh, the general, like the head dude, uh, he fucking... Uh, Helps Wolverine kill the uh, the thing. Like, he shoots the orb core, and then he fucking gets blasted and falls off. And, you know, hits the ground or whatever. But that gives Wolverine enough time to get up there and slash that bitch up. But the orb core thing shoots out this, uh, the same kind of blast that killed the, like, head general dude of the people who are trying to survive. And, like, it starts melting off Wolverine's arm, and you just see this adamantium skeleton... But he gets through, and he kills it. Uh, and then goes back to the people. They're like, ah, oh, Wolverine, you're the shit. You're the Messiah. Can you stay here? He's like, no, nah, I got to get back to New York. Then he gets, she touches his hand. 
because the way she makes motherfuckers time travel is by touching their hands. And then she morphs Wolverine back to New York. And he's right back on his way. It was a cool read. I love the artwork. I saw, I love seeing Wolverine drawn in this form. It was in color. Uh, and uh, I definitely recommend it. I recommend it uh, not buying that bitch on eBay because motherfuckers want like $50 for the trade paperback. That's what pissed me off because I was able to read it digitally. And uh, that kind of is like what made me think, you know what, man, fuck searching for these whales and all these fucking books. I'm just going to start doing every all the shit digital. I'm going to uh, sign up for the comic book services. If not, I'll buy the individual issues I need digitally and fuck it, man. Like, this shit could piss you off, dude. Because people want to get on eBay and uh, charge like $200 for a book or 50 for a fucking trade paperback. But anyway, my TED Talk's over. I'll probably end up in like six months regretting selling all my Omnis and fucking start buying them back. I don't know. But for now, I'm not. Anyway, check this book out for real, man. It might uh, be like your gateway drug to wanting to read Blam, spelled B-L-A-M-E exclamation point, if you haven't. And uh, let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below, man. Uh, as always, I appreciate you watching. Much love and respect. Peace.